Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Complex ambition. They gonna love me for my ambition. 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 Amb
Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 Laura Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. Fuck that bitch. I really feel like I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. <laughs> Father, forgive me for it. Maybe you just love us, so you're doing shit to test us. They say the good die young and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me. Mars. my blood racing. Took my mans from me, that forever hurts. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. Uh, I like how he ended it. I truly uh, did. Put that honey down. Free promo. Oh, yeah, man, it was good. Yeah, it was Anything's good. possible. This video is gonna captivate a lot of people because a lot of people, you know, they, they, if, if you grew up Christian, especially in the Catholic mm -hmm. Church, um, you believe that God is the is the person is the, is the not the person but the being that's in controlling everything and and uh, and and directly uh, affecting your life and, yeah. and and pulling strings so to say. And then you see great people die. And then the motherfuckers who do the worst shit, like Charlie Manson, they're still alive. No but they want to they wanna murder YNW Melly, but mm. the Charlie Man Charles Manson was in jail mm -hmm. for how long? I don't get it. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so it's like it's like you feel you feel this resentment towards God because you feel as if, man, if you're the if you're the soul so creator of this universe and you're the one who plots everything out, why why do you do such such bad things to good people and and like let the good one like the bad ones be free or, or or not get as punished as the good ones i don't get it and they don't get it and that's why people are going to connect to this but the problem with that idea is that's what that's as christians this is for christians this is for people who believe in god if you don't believe in god then don't listen to what i say it doesn't matter to me but you should be watching for, this video maybe because <laughs> i'm pretty sure Jordan Lucas, are you the people who love him? Yeah, especially he's bro. always spoken like no, this. but especially like, like Hispanics, bro. Yeah. That's Christianity in their culture. Mm -hmm. Um, so and this is this is to the biggest the biggest three religions. You know the 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 Jewish uh, the Jews. This goes to the Muslims, Islam, and this goes to Christians. So, um, the problem we have this wrong belief that God is the the owner of this world. When in reality, the Bible clearly states that it's a devil. And he ended it saying, "This is the, this is. I know it's not your fault. This is the devil's, devil's work. work. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the true reality of the matter." Epiphany moment at the end, like all this, like he's venting and venting frustration. But at the end, he's like, "Oh no, wait a minute! It's actually the devil's work." Yeah. Because the whole song is about questioning God. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people are gonna relate to it and loving it because you know people don't speak like this, especially rap nowadays. Exactly. Like, lately, it hasn't been like this. Like, there's a lot of prolific rappers who have yeah. in the past, but now. Yeah. It's not being popularized. Yeah. And Jordan Lucas is getting back into his motherfucking bag yeah. and doing what he does best. And he has his major album coming out. It's called ADHD. The title, like ADHD, he's probably going to be addressing that. He says, like, a lot of people in the generation have it. And, and I like the fact he even kind of mentioned it. He says kind of, it's getting kind of hard to pay to, to pay, pay attention because it's getting the, it's like becoming it's excessive. Overwhelming. Like, it's overwhelming. It's, it's becoming like because if you have ADHD, you have to pay for the pills and shit. Yeah. So to pay attention, nigga. <clears throat> like you can't pay attention because you can't monetary. pay, it, bro. And ADHD yeah. is one of those things that, like, technically it wasn't. It basically, yeah. it was like made and shit. Yeah, yeah it was made up. Like, and you know, what I'm saying, it's PTSD also going on because you know, especially kids younger than us, they're seeing all these artists die, and they they're gonna grow up in the future and be like, damn. I was there when all these artists died and all these artists were going to jail and all this stuff and people connect to these artists as if like they're brothers to them or family or friends to them so it's almost like just like a friend or a family member going to jail and dying no, that's definitely how so it that's is. that PTSD that this generation is going to be growing up that's with as definitely well how it is you know that's like all the messages that we get when it came to the passing of tentacion yeah you know X. Uh, a lot of people at least that have messaged me and everything you know it's one of those where they're like you know the only person i really had was him his music and shit like that. He spoke to me through that uh, family and everything like that. You know, they just didn't understand me. So, yeah. and that's a sad part things. too. Yeah. It's like you guys. I hate the I deeper. hate the whole argument that that uh, oh you shouldn't be listening to depressing music. 
Like who listens mm-hmm. to depressing music? Like what the fuck are you talking and about? People just connect to what they connect to. P- and especially like people want to relate to somebody yeah, or something. Yeah, it's too. What? It's too corny. I don't like that shit. It's corny. I need some shit to turn up to. Yeah, you, you're well, fucking corny. Well, don't, don't listen to him, nigga. But don't talk shit about you him. You don't have to listen to him, bro. You have the freedom. He's not stuffing this shit down your ear, dog. Yeah. Like yo, like a nigga barely is in social media. Exactly. Interviews, nothing. Exactly. But he does it well. I respect him. I don't want him to do too many interviews because if he begins to speak too much, the whole dichotomy loses balance. Yeah, yeah. no, no it's true because when he did, true. that it whole logic true. shit yeah. happened and like, I know, yeah, it's like, Poppy, that's how I know. That's not for you, my nigga. kind of corny, like you know. That's not deliver your message, Hard. back away. Deliver your message, back away. Yeah, that's what you should be doing. That's a little tip for free. Um, <laughs> Let's link up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but man, overall, what more can we say? Bars were there. And that's what I loved about it as well. Kept the message, but still kept the bars. So if you're into the rap and into just the actual technique of it and the skill, General Lucas brings that. And he doesn't make you fucking feel bored either. Yeah. So what and else he also said, like, he's going to start with he, the beat he chose there. It was like a Meek Mill beat. That's what the, I was going to say. It was like a He's Meek choosing Mill. those type of beats now, he said. He wants people to, like, he wants that, that balance, though. If you guys enjoyed it, comment down below. If you guys were moved by it, comment down below. Um, I can definitely see a lot of people being, you know, emotionally touched by this. Absolutely. So man, definitely man. feel free to Absolutely. reach out to us and let's connect. And also, man, this album is going to be very exciting. And I hope it's going to be very good, full of visuals and full of messages, man. Um, if Joyner Lucas or anyone in this camp is watching, man, feel free to reach out. We can definitely collaborate and help you with the promotion of that album because I think it definitely is going to deserve a lot of more attention than, unfortunately, I believe is going to get because that's how it is, you know, nowadays. But who knows? He might come around out of nowhere with a Rihanna track and fuck up the world. Who knows? You know, who knows? I think think the wave is starting to turn. Content is king. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Content I really is do good. hope that it fucking turns. Yeah. I I'm, really I'm, do I'm, I'm kind of scared for it. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared for it because it has to be done this, well. Baby, yeah, it can be corny. It can be corny. It can be corny, man. <sighs> and we're I'm not waiting corny. for it, though. Yeah. I'm waiting for it. Good shit, bro. I'm proud of you, man. I've yeah. seen your strides over the last fucking five 30 years, years, bro. Oh, okay. Okay, 30. Bless everybody, man. Compass ambition. You talk about anything. 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 Renegade.